So in this lecture, we're going to do a bit of stereochemical analysis of our elimination, bimolecular elimination reaction, also known as the E2 reaction. So our goal is to find the mechanism by which our reaction takes place. So let's begin with the following substrate. Let's suppose we have the following alkane, which means the two carbon-carbon atoms, the bond, can rotate in space. So if it rotates 60 degrees, we get this molecule, 60 more, we get this, and 60 more, we get this. So these are the corresponding Newman projections. So in this projection, our H and L atoms are on the same exact plane. These bonds are on the same plane, so we have zero degrees, also known as same confirmation. So next we have 60 degrees apart, we have the following Newman, 60 more we have 120 degrees apart between our atoms, and next we have 180 degrees apart, which is also known as the anti. Now, we want to find out which one of these conformation will lead to our E2 reaction. So is it 0, 60, 120, or 180? So let's examine the transition state of our E2 reaction. So two bonds are being broken, one bond is being formed. So this CH bond is being broken as the pair of electrons is coming onto this carbon, carbon forming our pi bond. And this bond is being broken as the pair of electrons is leaving and is forming our anion. So our nucleophile grabs this H, this lone pair of electron attacks this carbon-carbon, kicking off this leaving group. So this is our transition state. So recall what we require for a, bo for a pi bond to form. In order to create a pi bond, we require good overlap between an empty and a filled 2p orbital. So for example, we have the following filled 2p orbital and an empty 2p orbital. And they must be aligned exactly parallel to one another. So that means, notice, in the 60 and 120 degrees, they're not parallel. So that means this is not the proper orientation confirmation of our E2 reaction. In other words, our E2 reaction will not take place when our molecule is in either of these two conformations. In the sin, 0 degrees, and anti, 180 degrees, we have our parallel orientation. So, now we have to figure out, is it the cis or is it the anti? Well, let's see. Recall that in order for an SN2 reaction to take place, the nucleophile must take the backside approach. It must approach via the backside, kicking off the leaving group. The same is true for an E2 reaction, in which now not the nucleophile, but the pair of electrons must take a backside approach. Notice that in this case, if the electrons come off, they will attack via a frontside approach. They're attacking the L via frontside approach, kicking off the L. In this case, the pair of electrons approaches via a backside approach. And that means that this is the confirmation that must exist in order for our E2 reaction to take place. So we require 180 degrees or the anti-confirmation of our alkane. So this is our mechanism in which our nucleophile, which acts as a base, uses its pair of electrons to take off the H atom. It takes off the H atom at the same time this pair of electrons attacks this carbon via a backside approach, kicking off this pair of electron, forming our following alkene and our NH and UH bond shown here. We're also going to have the anion, the leaving group, floating around. But this is our alkene and this is the mechanism which must take place via an anti-180 degrees.